Okay, we are in the garage. We're looking at the garage ceiling. This is an insulation on the header right there. This is not living space, so that's why it looks so hot over the garage overhead door. Okay, but we were upstairs and we were running some water, so I'm kind of looking for any signs of leakage like that. And I'm not finding any. That's the cold air coming from the register. These are our thermostats for the water heater. Water heaters. So while we're here, put this thing through some changes. Heat. Again, cold air being broadcast. We're still going to shed some cold air, but I'm looking for, we're on the first floor. It's a light sconce. I'm looking for water. I, the primary bedroom, suite, bathroom, shower, is filled with about one inch of water. I also want to see this wall. This is the wall next to the garage. This is the living space. I don't want to see any hot spots on that. Of course, we don't have hot spots here. I've been running the oven. Back in the fourth bedroom, this is the garage wall. And this is your neighbor's wall, so. Quick view. Hello. Neighbor's wall. And again, boring. So I'm going to go upstairs. Usually we get more. If we're going to get any, we'll get more information upstairs. Look at the upstairs ceiling. That's where the attic insulation is. Moving upstairs. Again, we have an outside wall. Yeah. Right here. The insulation seems to be lacking right here, huh? How come this wall is so hot? Up in here, number two bathroom, upstairs hall bathroom, north, northeast bedroom, number two bedroom. And of course the neighbor's wall. That's just a little Thermal bridging. I wish we could get away from all of it, but it's just not going to happen. 